Health experts have urged New Year's Eve revelers to avoid crowds amid fears of an Omicron outbreak. This came as people lined up for tests at Festival Walk. A queue formed at level P3 in Festival Walk, where a mobile testing station was set up this morning. A 44-year-old Cathay Pacific Air Crew member who ate at the Moon Palace restaurant in Kowloon Mall was confirmed with the Omicron variant yesterday. Many lining up for tests work in the shopping hub or nearby offices. I didn't really stay inside the mall, but uh, according to the company uh, uh, policy, I have to take a test. I think uh, the Omicron is not that um, severe for the uh, symptoms, so I guess it is not really a problem, but uh, uh, I still get to uh, get a test, so it's okay. This woman, who visited the restaurant on Tuesday, said she took the test because she was worried that if she had the virus, her two children would be infected. The Moon Palace closed yesterday afternoon. Experts believe the air crew member passed on the virus to his 76-year-old father and a construction worker who was sitting several tables away. Government adviser David Hoy urged the authorities to track down other diners. He said since Omicron has a short incubation period, people will know whether there is a community outbreak in the next few days. Respiratory expert Leung Chi Chu warned of false negative results, as the variant can take up to three days to surface. Hoi and Leung advised people to avoid gathering in crowded areas tonight for New Year's Eve. Wing Chak House in Shek Kip Mei, where the air crew member's father lives, reopened this morning after no infections were found during a lockdown last night. There were also no cases in Block A of Hoi Tao Building in Kennedy Town, the home of another air crew member.